This colorful little guy is the Vermilion flycatcher. It's a type of little bird that is mostly native to Mexico and Central America, but has been found in some parts of Northern South America and the Southern United States. Like most flycatchers, these guys are incredibly active, flying around and catching the majority of their food from the air. That includes things like flies, where they get the name, but also things like beetles and moths and occasionally our friends, the airborne spiders. They've also occasionally been known to opportunistically feed on slightly larger things like small fish and reptiles. Now, like many species of birds, again, the males are much more colorful than the females, with the males having that bright vermilion coloration and the females being typically a lot more toned down with just a small amount of slightly orange blush on the kind of belly parts. Vermilion flycatchers are for the most part monogamous and the females have also been exhibited in having kind of interspecies brood parasitism. That is where the female lays her eggs in the nest of another bird. However, unlike many other species that do brood parasitism, the vermilion flycatchers will lay her eggs in the nest of another vermilion flycatcher. Now, this isn't a super frequent phenomenon, but it has been observed. Most of the time, they will lay their eggs in their own nest and care for their own offspring, but occasionally they will just pop an egg into another nest. For the most part, these guys are solitary or found only in pairs around the breeding season. However, they can form very, very small flocks throughout the winter. They're also most of the time non-migratory, staying resident in the same area throughout the year. However, sometimes they've been found very, very far outside their regular range, even all the way up north into Canada, which is quite rare but not unheard of. Overall, they are just quite a cute and interesting little guy.